All right, so welcome to this video. Here we're setting up Active Directory on a Server 2016 box. Uh, basically, our previous video, we set up our lab infrastructure with four servers. I'm on domain controller one. I want to add a roller feature. I want to add specifically Active Directory domain services, all of the sub features that it needs. I'm going to leave everything else alone. Right now, that's all I want. And I'm going to go ahead and install it. Doesn't take super long to install it, but just let it go through its uh, process. Notice the time, it took a minute. You're going to notice our flag now has a notification. We need to promote the server to a domain controller. Yep. So this is the first server in this domain slash forest. So read the options. Add a domain controller to an existing forest or an existing domain. No. We need to create a whole new forest. So for our lab, our domain is ace.local. We're going to go through and verify. We're going to be setting up DNS and a global catalog. We're also going to be setting up a recovery password, just in case. Functional levels are server 2016, that's fine. Because this is the first domain controller, we're going to get this message. Let's go ahead and create the DNS delegation if it lets us. Which it shouldn't because, again, there is no DNS server yet. It will do the NetBIOS name, which basically will verify that this domain name is unique on your network. And it is. We'll do next. These are the default locations, which for what we're doing, that's fine. It will check prereqs. Big error here is if you do not have a password for your local administrator, it will fail. It has built-in security, specific delegations. So those are just warnings, but it will let us install. It will give you the appropriate knowledge uh, links if you want to fix the warning messages. There is no DNS server just running uh, yet. That's why we're going to get this one. This will take a few minutes to install. Take note of the time. All right. Again, notice the time now. Installation only took about a minute. It needs to restart and then configure itself. When it restarts, it's still going to give you the prompt for the local admin account. We need to not log in that way. Plan computer settings. This can take a few minutes. Okay, so it took about 10 minutes for it actually to go through. Notice the account is now ace slash administrator. So that's the one that we want. It promoted our local administrator to the first domain administrator. We are seeing a no internet access. So let's go ahead and let's verify that both DNS and Routing is working, so it's ping. All right, so we can do that. We can get outside access. Can we ping google.com? So this is verifying that DNS is working. It's translating google.com to the appropriate IP address. So that is really not uh, correct. 
Let's double check our DNS settings. You'll notice DNS setting, there's nothing there. That's because DNS is saying, we'll use a loopback address and look at yourself, because domain controller 1, DC1, is also DNS. All right, so with that said, we are almost done. We need to open up our DNS manager. You'll notice here, we are, uh, the performance counters for DNS is not activated. That's the only real warning for DNS, and you know what, that's okay. Let's open up DNS. You'll see that we have a forward zone for DNS for ace.local but we do not have a reverse zone. So let's go ahead and make a new zone. New zone. We want a new primary zone for this forest. Right now we're just doing IPv4. I'm gonna type in the first three octets. We want to allow only secure updates. All right, so now we have our reverse zone. You'll notice there are no records here yet. So I'm gonna hop over to my forward zone. We have our DC1. We need to make sure that we're updating the associated po uh, pointer records. So make sure to check update record. Give it a second and hop back over here. Refresh again and now we have a pointer record. So this is a basic basic setup of Active Directory domain services using server 2016. In our next video, we're going to be adding a second domain controller to our environment, so stay tuned.